Hi everyone, in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing the Bissell Powerfresh Steam Mop uh, that I got a few weeks ago and I've been testing it since then and I can already tell you that I love it and I'm gonna tell you why and uh, I'm gonna start off with the whole setup. So the Steam Mop comes in a pretty small box. It's pretty easy to set up. You just need to connect the handlebar to the Steam Mop body and you just screw the handle on and you're good to go. Uh, it took me less than a minute to set it up. It was pretty easy. And the Steam Mop comes with a few accessories. It comes with two uh, cleaning pads. The first one is for regular cleaning. And the second one is for more like heavy duty cleaning if you have any like caked on dirt. And it also comes with two fragrance discs and a carpet glider if you wanna like clean, refresh your carpet. So uh, it's pretty cool. And I paid less than $100 for it. So. I would say this is like the best value for your money. I actually couldn't find any better steam up. Uh, this one had the best reviews and it seemed like it, you were getting the most for your money. And I bought mine on Amazon, so I knew if I wouldn't like it, I could just return it. So that was pretty convenient. And you also have uh, a scrubbing brush uh, that is attached to your mop, uh, which you can easily uh, push down and scrub the floor in parts where you want it. I actually used it a couple of times and I found it useful, but I think for most of people, you probably won't need to use it. You can easily uh, wash the microfiber pads in the washer. Uh, they advise you not to use the dryer, so I didn't, but I know that a lot of people online uh, do wash and then dry uh, those pads in the dryer with no issues. So I may try it out, but they do try pretty quickly. So uh, whenever I like do any load of laundry, I just leave it on the washer to dry and within a few hours it's fully dry. So I didn't have a need to use a dryer. So this steam up was actually the first steam up that I've ever used in my whole life. Uh, when we first moved into this house, I uh, came here to clean the floor and it took me over three hours to scrub all the floors here. It took forever, it was exhausting. And uh, with the steam mop, it took me less than an hour to clean all the floors in my whole house. And my house is not too big, it's uh, around 2,000 square feet. So even though it's not the biggest house, there's still a lot of floor to clean. So it definitely helped me using the steam mop. Not only I didn't have to use any chemicals, uh, I didn't have to use any elbow grease. I was only lightly sliding the steam up on the floor and it was able to take off all the dirt. So I would say just for that, it's it's so worth it because uh, usually after cleaning the floor, I would be exhausted. And that's one of the chores that I hate doing. Cleaning the floors is always the last thing that I want to do. So using the steam up was just so much easier and so much faster. For the last few months, I was actually using only Rubber Rock S7 to vacuum and uh, mop my floors. And you know, it has a little water tank and it has a little, you know, pad, but it, it's never, you know, something that will clean your floors as well as using a regular bucket and mop or a steam mop. So another thing that I love about this steam mop is that it doesn't only clean your floors, but it also sanitize them. It actually removes up to 90.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. Sometimes I also like walk around the house in my shoes and knowing that I can clean and sanitize my floors is definitely making me feel better. And another thing that uh, surprised me was that the floors after you clean them with the steam mop dry pretty quickly, uh, much quicker than when I used to use just regular, uh, you know, mop in the bucket, like much, much quicker. And it's probably because I definitely used too much water, but I also felt like I needed to use a lot more water and also use that elbow grease to scrub the floors to get all the dirt out. With the steam up, like I said before, I only lightly glided over the floor. I don't need to scrub it and the dirt comes up super easily. So I love that about this Bissell uh, mop because I do actually have, uh, it's like a, hybrid it's like hardwood and vinyl floors that they actually in the manual say not to use any steam mops so i was actually like on the fence if i you know should use uh the steam up on those floors because i was scared to use it like they say don't use any chemicals on it like you know just water and i uh, don't use a lot of water on those floors uh, but i use the steam up a few times now and i don't see any damage on the floors they still look amazing just they're super clean now so whenever i use uh, the steam up on the hardwood floors i use it on the lowest uh, steam level 
and uh, it still cleans the floors very nicely but uh, it doesn't use that much steam but in the bathroom uh, I let myself use the steam up on the highest steam level and uh, it's, it's great it's great uh, I definitely see that there is a lot more steam coming out uh, whenever I change the setting so that's good I'm just glad that uh, on the lowest setting I can still use it on the hardwood floor without worrying you know that something's gonna happen and the other thing which I love about the steam up is that it takes less than a minute uh, to produce the steam. Like I turn it on, like I connect it to the plug, uh, I turn it on and literally in seconds, I can turn it on and start cleaning the floor. Like it's insane how fast it is. Uh, I had steamers in the past, not the steam up, but just steamers uh, for cleaning and also steamers for uh, ironing clothes. And it would take like a minute or two, a solid minute or two to get the steam going. And with this steam up, it takes just a few seconds. Another thing which I also wanted to mention is that you should use distilled water with it or filter water. I use filtered water, I have reverse osmosis, so uh, it doesn't leave any like mineral buildup. I would not advise you to use tap water because after a few uses, you will probably need to descale and it's a pain. So uh, just, you know, go get some distilled water if you don't have filtered water at home and you will be thanking me for that tip. <laughs> I also like the price of this steam up and I mentioned it at the beginning. Um, it's, it's amazing that this steam up costs less than $100. The only thing I guess I, you know, would gripe about is that it is, uh, it, it's not cordless. Um, I do have a Dyson uh, vacuum, which is amazing that I can just, you know, grab it and, you know, clean uh, the floor, whatever, in the house uh, or even outside the house. It's pretty convenient not to have to deal with any cords. Uh, so I would say that's the only con of this steam up is that it is uh, corded and you will have to unplug it and plug it somewhere else uh, whenever you are um, steaming your whole house. I think I had to unplug it two or three times uh, in my in my house. The cord is actually pretty long, but if you have a pretty big house, uh, you will have to deal with it. But it's actually not that big of a deal because after you unplug it and plug it back in, it takes literally like a few seconds uh, for the for the steam up to produce steam. So you don't have to like wait, you know, a minute or two, like you don't have to worry about it. So I would say that's, you know, a very small con that like, I'm willing, you know, to deal with just because the steam up is such a good value. I was able to clean all the hardwood floors just on one tank, uh, which is pretty amazing. So if you use it on the lowest steam level, you're probably gonna be fine uh, cleaning your whole house on just one water tank. And uh, whenever the steam up is out of water, it starts to make like a knocking sound. So then I know that I need to refill the water tank. So that's it for my review. I'm loving my steam up. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna link uh, the steam up down below in the description box, as well as all the accessories that you need to get for it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.